close your eyes, watch the breath. The breath comes in, goes out. Try to make your mind like a post at the edge of the sea. The tide comes in, the tide goes out, but the post doesn't get moved. In other words, you stay in your one place, watch the breath coming in and going out, and don't get tempted to go out with the out-breath. Stay right here where you are. The mind needs its own place. It needs to have a sense of its own self being separate from things outside, because things outside can get pretty miserable. They go up and down. As you all know, the ways of the world. There's gain and then there's loss. There's status, there's loss of status, there's praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. And sometimes it seems like everything is going really well, and other times it seems like nothing is going well at all. But we can't let our mind go up and down with the ups and downs of the world, otherwise we get crashed. It's like a, taking a post and, let, and just having it lie there on the beach. The waves pick up the post and they cast it up on shore and they pull it out to sea again. And finally, they throw it up on the shore, probably crashes against some rocks someplace, and that's it. In the meantime, it's dangerous to anybody there on the beach. The same with the mind that lets itself get affected by the ways of the world. It gets hurt by the ways of the world and it can do a lot of damage to other people. So you've got to make sure that your mind is really firm. Things go up, but the mind doesn't have to go up. When they go down, you don't have to go down. Because when the mind is still, you see that even when things go up, there are some things you have to be careful about. And when things go down, it's not all that bad. As the Buddha once said, there's a good side to everything. Or John Lee pointed out that when you lose your wealth, okay, you know who your friends are. When wealth is coming in, you don't really know. You just Everybody seems to be your friend. But when there's loss of wealth, loss of status, okay, that's when you know who your friends are. When there's criticism, that's when you know who your friends are. Some, some people criticize you and it's just to hurt your feelings. Other people criticize you and it's to help you. You know, There's a lot to be learned from criticism. The same with pain. The Buddha said pain is a noble truth. You can learn an awful lot about the, your mind by watching pain, which means that even the bad side of the world has its good side, has its good uses, if you have the ability to step back from it a bit, not let yourself get swamped by it. So try to keep your mind on a steady, even keel. This is one of the reasons why we practice meditation, is to have a sense of a home inside that's not blown around by things outside. Or as I said, it's like being the post, planted firmly in the edge of the sea. The waves rise and fall, the wind comes and goes, but the post isn't moved. And that way you get to see things for what they really are. And the mind in the meantime doesn't suffer and doesn't cause any suffering to anybody else.